and hello everyone welcome back to another bootstrap tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to be covering list groups also a new thing is that we'll be using this inbuilt browser with this live preview extension we have here it will allow us to not have our browser open the whole time if we need to do some object inspecting or so we can still use the browser but this is perfectly fine for just previewing ah actually it's this one not that one at the top this is the current one i'm using here to open it up if you have it installed you can just go here and say live and then show live server preview and to open that up it's control shift p that will open up your settings or control p and then just add a this anyhow it's not a vs code tutorial so let's get started so let's start with creating a basic list group just so we know what we're working with we can create a ul because this is going to be an unordered list with the class name of list group and then we also inside of that want an li tag with the class name of list group item so right here then of course we can say anime let's say this is like our hobbies gaming coding and here we go if we were to just say bg dark then here you'll be able to see our list group it has a little very fine line here in the center and yeah it's just a list as simple as that you can also make one of them active so active like this and now it's blue because it's active you could possibly make it that on hover they become active so if you hover over gaming it gets the active class and if you hover over coding it gets the active class but that's a more javascript than bootstrap you can also create a list group with linked items we can do that by changing ul to div and then the items inside of them to a so we'll go a and we can still have our list group item and then we can add list group item action so this is if there's supposedly an action that will happen and in here we could just keep that the same and we can just give it a link to which it should go to in this case we can just say hashtag and now if you hover over them you'll see that they do highlight and if you click them they're supposed to take you to the url pass in here and you can of course easily disable them or give them disabled styling by saying disabled and now they're disabled if we just have one that's not disabled then you'll notice this one does not look disabled until we actually have over it but yeah as you can see these two don't have any finger pointing towards them and they're grayed out if you don't like these borders it is fairly simple to remove them i'm just going to make these a little bit less so everything can fit on one line oh that's close enough then here of list group you say list group flush and this will make it more flushed out so now it's not as round as it was if we were to remove that you'll notice it goes around it's a bit more of a border you can also add automatic numbering to them so if we say list group numbered then it will automatically number them for you however i think for that to work we do need to use an ordered list with li tags like that and now they will be numbered without this it will remove the numbering so if you have an ordered list you can just do that if you instead wanted these to be next to each other instead of underneath each other you could go list group horizontal and now they're next to each other instead of underneath each other so if you want them to be stacked horizontally instead of vertically this is the way to go and then yet again just like with everything we can say list group item and in the color so success or danger or info 
and then that will change their colors. And that's mostly the basics of list groups. Usually you'll mostly find them being vertical as such and they maybe have a little badger at the side of a number and then usually if you click them it will take you to a page or it will unwrap and it will have content inside of it. But yeah that's a little bit out of the scope for this video and thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all again in the next bootstrap tutorial.